Welcome to another FEA SolidWorks tutorial. In this SolidWorks simulation video, I am going to be just playing around what happens with this static analysis on this cantilever style beam part you got here with and without a simple fillet. We're going to analyze the mesh generation processing time and also the stress concentrations in that area just to play a little bit of detective on how the fillet could help or hurt your part. So with that said, let's get into it. But before that, subscribe to the channel, leave a comment on what SolidWorks simulation video you would like to see next. I'm going to include a free FEA guide in the description. It's yours for free. Um, join my Patreon if you want more exclusive full access to SOLIDWORKS content. Let's get into it. So for this first study without the fillet, we have just a basic part here, two extrusions. We're going to run a static analysis. So let's do new study. Go to static, static one, select OK. Let's go ahead and attach our constraints. We are going to go ahead and just fix this back wall here and click OK. We have our cast iron material set from the SOLIDWORKS materials library. And we are going to now just apply a force. Normal to this face here of 500 pounds. Let's go ahead now and run our mesh. We'll run just a medium mesh refined generation, curvature based. And with that set, we can go ahead and run the study. Let's go ahead and bump her up a bit in force. With the overall dimensions being 108 inches, which is like 10 foot beam, let's bump this up significantly. And we'll just bump it to 80,000. You know what? Let's try a hundred thousand on force. It is a big beefy beam we got here. Let's put it under some pressure. So you can see our max down here, 10 KSI. We got some red showing around here as well. We can take a screenshot, include image and report if we want. I'm going to take a screenshot of those numbers real quick, and then we can look at our displacement numbers. If we expand this resultant over a quarter of an inch down at the end. So I'm going to just take note of those two 
results. Now let's run it the same study and everything, but with the fillet and see if there's any difference in our results. All right, so we're back at the part level. We're gonna go ahead and unsuppress this fillet here. Um, let's see, it is a three inch fillet. Let's bump that up to five inch here. Ramp that up a bit. All right, let's go ahead and start a new study then with the fillet static two. Same material, gray cast iron. We are going to fix it the same exact way on this wall. Hundred thousand pound force on the beam. Normal. Gotta count my zeros. Let's go ahead and mesh it right down the middle. And we're ready to launch. All right, so you're seeing automatically there is a max, not in this location, but on the top left now, right here, 8.9 KSI. We had some red up top there before, and I did probe it. We've got some red down here as well. Very, very interesting. Seems to have smoothed at least some of the stress concentrations on this fillet, but it just kind of moved it. Let's go ahead and look at the displacement. So we have 0.291. I have to look at the other results real quick to check the numbers. Let's go ahead and probe. We'll probe right here where that stress was last time. We're seeing 8.6 KSI instead of the 10 that was showing on the one without the fillet. So it seems like there's less overall max stress with the fillet. So I just checked the numbers for before the fillet and yes, those numbers were higher both here where it showed the 10.34 something KSI. Instead we're getting the nine something on this probe and then up here we were getting 9.7 something KSI with the fillet. We're getting a little less, 8.9. So instead of the 10 down here, let's probe that again. Right, this edge, 8.6. So yeah, getting lower stress bomb ICs with the fillet, kind of as expected. The thing that you have to take into account is I did select less of a surface area of that force with the fillet added, but we'll assume that's negligible just for this basic video. So that's going to do it for this video, guys. Just comparing results of with and without the fillet, keeping it as simple as possible, some insights to include in improving adding strength to your design with fillets and other features to smooth out the stress concentration, which will be another video. Check the link in the description for your FEA SOLIDWORKS guide and subscribe to the channel. We'll see you next time.